Hi everyone, welcome back. My name's Scott and this is week three of the 12 week Fit Fans Home Exercise Programme. So for today's session, you're gonna need a couple of tins again. Uh, hopefully you've not used them since last time and you're just gonna need a little bit of space to go through the exercises. Uh, you may also want to have some water on hand. So we're gonna start with a warm up, um, get us ready. So let's just start off a little gentle jog on the spot or into your march as we've done in the past. Hope you're all well today. As you can see, the chair's gone. Uh, we're progressing things on slightly again. So we've got an interesting session planned for you all today. Right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into a standing crunch. So what we need to do is you're gonna take your left knee, uh, and sorry, your right knee and your left elbow together, and then you're gonna switch just going to add a little twist in there. Again, they might not come all the way together. Just visualise that movement. Well done. Right, into a side step. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the heel up to the opposite bum cheek. When we do that, let me spin around and show you. So, your left foot's going to come across to your right bum cheek, your right foot or your right heel to your left bum cheek. Now you turn around again. <laughs> Keep going. Well done. And if we just go into our step touch, what I want you to do, I want to bring the upper body in. So when you step, you're going to roll in and out. Well done. Back on your match or your little jog if you can. Right, finally, what we need to do, we're going to, we're going to come to the punches. We're just going to punch left, right, straight out. As you can see, little bend in the knee. This is going to bring us in nicely to our first exercise of the day. Well done. Right, hope you're all feeling well. Today we're going to do exercises in groups of three. I'm just going to get my timer ready. Um, we're going to do an aerobic, a strengthening, and then a dynamic flexibility exercise. And we're going to um, work for 45 seconds, then we're going to have a 15 second changeover period, complete the three exercises like that, and we'll have a little bit longer break before we go into the next lot. So let me just get this ready for you. So your first exercise is going to be um, an uppercut. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand, feet just wider than shoulder width. We're going to come down and then we're going to come up and uppercut across the opposite shoulder. So we've just been doing sort of like a little bump, jab, cross. What we're going to do this time, we're going to come down a little bit lower explode up and punch above the opposite shoulder. So 45 seconds of that, let me show you the next one as well. Your next one is going to be an overhead press with your cans. So you're going to get the cans, you're going to come into this position and we're going to come up and down, working the shoulders, repeat for 45. And then your final exercise of the three is going to be arm circles. So it's just going to be nice big circles either one at a time, or both arms if you can. We're gonna change direction, we're gonna change the size of that circle. Just gonna keep rotating those arms. So, a little bit of a countdown. Everything's gonna be standing today. Right, we've got 15 seconds and then we are into the 
squat upper cut. Again, if you can't get down too low, just a little bend in the knees, come up, do your upper cut. Ready? Off we go. Well done. Well done, feel those legs working here. Keeping his arms up, that's going to keep our upper body engaged. Come on. Five seconds. Lovely, right. Into the overhead press. So you'll need your cans or your, your light weights. We're going to come palms facing forward just in front of us, our ears. Good strong base here. Off we go. Again. All about control. Not about the speed of the movement. Keeping those muscles working, keeping the muscles under tension. Come on, you've got this. Quick change over that one, it's 15 seconds. Get a breather after the next one, after your arm swings. Come on, 10 seconds. Like with the others, if you want to drop into alternating at any point or even start like that. And relax, well done. Right, pop your tins down. Your next exercise is gonna be your arm swings, so. One side, or both at the same time. Are we ready? Off we go. Nice big circles to start with. Okay, we're still working in. This is like an active recovery. Working our joints through a good range of motion. If you want to bring the circles in, make them a little bit smaller. Change direction. Remember, you can always put one arm for a little bit of a rest. Keep one going and switch. Got to find what works for you. Find that intensity on the, uh, the RP scale of one to 10. Well done. Right, little bit of a breather now while I talk you through the next three exercises. So. Your first of the three is going to be a star jump. We did these seated in the early weeks. What you're going to do is you're going to step out with one leg. When you do that, your arms come up and you return. You step out, return, and the arms keep going up and down. Now, again, feel free to just drop into the lower body if you need to. Feel free to keep your arms going if, you, if your legs are tired. Basically, keep moving, keep working to what you can do. So that's going to be your first one. Your next one, I'm calling this a Mexican wave. So we've got a lot of football fans watching. Um, Mex people still do them, don't they? Mexican waves, yeah? So what you're going to do is you're going to bend your knees, you're going to come down. If you can, come down nice and close to the floor and then wave up. Whee! Back down and up. Obviously, if you can't quite get down, just come, that slight bend again, sweep through and up. Work what's comfortable for you. Uh, your third exercise, sorry, is going to be a hip circle. So we're going to use a wall. Uh, we're going to take one leg out, we're going to point the toes, and we're going to draw a circle with your toes. Imagine you're stirring a pot, drawing a circle with your big toe. Uh, when one side gets tired, switch and do the other side. Right, we're going into the star jumps in three seconds. Off we go. So, one leg at a time, in and out, arms come up and down. Oh, 
módon. Come on, keep it going. Remember, we've done a little bit of upper body stuff. If your arms get tired, give them a little breather. Just go into that little step. When we start building up work on the same muscle groups, then that's when we're building up the fatigue. You want to keep that controlled and your body will adapt and relax. Well done. Right, your second exercise, Mexican wave. Are we ready? Our intensity has definitely gone up. Off we go. Whee. You don't have to do the sound effects, but I like it. Whee. Mexican waves flying around football stadium here, isn't it? Well done. Remember, just work what you can. If your legs are screaming after 30 seconds, have a little breather. And relax, well done. Right, so find something sturdy. I've got a wall nearby. What you're going to do is support yourself, point your toes, draw those circles. Ready? Off we go. That's it. Just stir the pot. If one side starts to get fatigued, this hip area, spin round, other side, we're about halfway through now so it's probably not a bad time to, to spin, again if this is your comfortable range, it's not again about the size of the motion, it's just about working those abductor muscles, small muscles around your hip, and relax, well done. That's two down. So your next one is going to be what I call, let me just pause this, a zombie walk. So for a zombie walk, the lower body is it really easy. All you do is you just kick left, right. With your arms, they come out in front and you go under, over, under, over. Hopefully now you can see why this is referred to as a zombie walk. So that's going to be your first one. Your second one, we're going to get our tins and we're going to do a tin wood chop. So both tins are going to start at one hip. You're going to bring them up to the opposite shoulder and return. And then your third exercise, we can keep hold of the tins. It's going to be an oblique side reach. So you're going to stand just wider than shoulder width. You're going to come up and over, up and over. If you want to get rid of the tins for this bit, you can. Are we ready? Zombies, to start with. Off we go. So kick those legs, arms go under, over. If you want to pick the pace up a little bit here. Come on. You've got this. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Hang in there. Keep referring to that scale. How are you feeling? Hand relax, well done. Your second one then. We get our tins and we go into the wood chop. So, both hands at one hip. Straight arms, you come up to the opposite shoulder and back. Ready, go. I'm gonna give you a shout when we get to halfway and you can take those cans to the opposite hip and work the other side. Right, switch, so cans come in to the side up over your opposite shoulder. Well 
done. Come on, last five seconds. Time, well done. If you want to keep hold of the tins, keep hold of them. If you want to pop them down, pop them down. We're going to go into the side reach. Ready? Go! So all we're doing, coming up and over, back and over. How are we doing? We've still got that breathing rate up here. Nearly there again, we're inside the last 10. And relax, well done. Right then, two more to go. So, this one we're going to go to the high clap and under, high clap and under. If you can't get that range of motion, then what I want you to do is clap up, bring your knee up and bring your arms down and clap up. So if you can't quite get underneath. Your next one, what we're going to do, we're going to reach up, we're going to imagine that we're grabbing a the bar. Then from this position, we're going to engage our back, pull the chin above the bar, up onto your toes and return. Pull up onto your toes, chin above the bar and back. And then your third, sorry, yeah, your third exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to step forward, keep our arms in front. As we come forward, we're going to go out to one side, we're going to come back. We're going to come forward, back, forward, back. I have literally no rhythm, so you'll probably get that a lot easier than me. So, are we ready? We're starting with the clap. Five seconds. Ready? Off we go. So up and under, alternate. If you can't get under, keep coming up. See if we can get some claps in there for you. It's like uh, Iceland at Euros or at World Cup. World Cup, weren't it? Yeah, the Icelandic or Nordic clap or whatever it was called. So if you can, you're coming under, keeping loads of body parts moving. Come on, we're still not using any equipment other than a couple of tins, but hopefully you can feel it working, waking us bodies up. And relax, well done. Right, so your next one. Again, just think, get that mind-muscle connection. Think about grabbing onto the bar, squeezing up, chin above the bar, squeeze the lats and relax. Off we go, so up. And now take it at your own pace, feel the contraction. Again, you don't have to come up onto your toes, just adds in another element, a calf raise as well. Well done. A few more reps. Come on, five seconds. Got one more. Squeeze up and relax. Well done. And then your final one. Arms out, we're gonna walk forward, come to one side, walk back. Walk forward, come to one side, walk back. Ready? Shake them out. Off we go. All done. Let's find your own rhythm. Don't focus too much on the number of steps. Just coming forward, twisting, returning. Coming forward, twisting. I've got my feet in a little bit of a mess there. But we've recovered, we're still going. Come on, you're nearly there. A 
Five seconds. Relax, well done. Give him a shake, we've done a lot of upper body work. You've got one more round of three. So this is going to be um, a basic step and touch. What I want you to do this time is you're finding them easy. One, increase the speed. Two, if you can, try and get a little bit lower down. Really get those muscles working. Uh, your second one, we're going to get the cans. So what we're going to do is we're going to come, bend down, bend down knees, pivot forward. What we're going to do is we're going to fly up and back. Working your rear deltoids. Nice reverse fly, good straight back. So we're not dropping forward like this. We're bending the knees, pivoting at the hips, and coming up and out. And then your third and final one for the day is going to be step forward, in step to opposite hand, return. Step forward, in step. You can't quite make it, just air it. Minimising contact during the pandemic. Are we ready? So we start in with the step touch. In three, two, one, off we go. See if you can increase that speed a little bit. If you can, drop down, get those tops of your legs and your bum firing. Well done. Come on, ten seconds. Three, two, one. Up we get. Take your time, you want to grab your tins and we're going to come into that reverse fly. So knees bend, pivot forwards, how we ready? Good strong posture, nice controlled movement. Imagine here again, pinching a pencil between your shoulder blades. It's going to help you get the muscles firing that we want in this movement. Come on, nearly there. Last couple of reps. Doing well. And relax, well done. So, tins done. Your last exercise. It's your step, in step, to hand. Are we ready? Off we go. Couple of steps forward, bring that instep to your opposite hand and return. Come out again. Again, this is what it looks like. If you can't quite get the full range of motion at the minute, don't worry, you work what's comfortable for you. You're quickly gonna improve keep sticking at these workouts, building more activity into every day where possible. One more, hang relax, well done. Right, let me turn that off. Fantastic, all we need to do now is a really quick cool down, stretch off and then we crack on with the rest of our day. So, we're going to start with the upper body. So what I want you to do is you're just going to open your chest out, keep bringing your arms across your front and then opening your chest out at different angles. Well done. I'm 
fantastic. Right, feet just wider than shoulder width. What I'd like you to do is just gonna roll your hips. Both directions, don't wind yourself up too much in one direction. Lovely, right. What I'd like you to do, widen that stance. You twist your toes out. All we do is we lean into that side just till we feel a stretch in our inner thigh, in the groin area. You're just going to hold nice deep breaths and relax. Same on the other side. So the other toes come out. We lean into that, feel it in the, the other groin. Relax, well done. Right, just on the calves, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to step one foot forward, one foot back. You're gonna try and keep your weight forward and as your back heel tries to lift, push that back into the ground. Now, if you've got quite a good range of movement, this may not be doing much for you. So I'm just gonna show you a way to just make that a little bit better stretch. You're gonna use your wall again, exactly the same. You're gonna take one foot back, one foot in, and push that, push yourself into the wall and push your back heel down. You'll feel that all through the calf. And switch. And switch, all done. Right, once again, thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to welcoming you on week four. Thanks a lot, bye.